let's have a look at that award. It's, uh, it's something it's Chris Sturry, you know. You know what? I need to look for a mosquito in the inside, you know, to see if there's some dinosaur DNA. The sequel to Jurassic World. Well, you know, I'm already taking the calls from Universal. You know, um, you know they, they they love my ideas. They love where I'm taking it. You know, I cost next to no money. You know, just the perfect package. It costs a bit more now, though, that you won this award. I suspect. It, you know, it's it's they're not going to do business class flights, but they will do extra legroom economy. Excellent. Well, can, I, can I ask you, what does an award like this mean to you? And also for your film as well, which I guess will get an additional exposure that it might not have got otherwise. It's essential. This is the among the only awards the film will be eligible for. Uh, the Biffas are unique in that you have fantastic stars like you know, Kate Winslet, who was here, um, alongside independent filmmakers like myself. Uh, so it's, it's, it's vital for raising that profile. Uh, we're out in February. Um, hopefully now more people will be aware of it. Uh, we'll get you know, more screens. We'll get more journalists seeing the film. Um, there's kind of a virtuous cycle. And I think for anyone nominated as well, um, it's already kind of marked it out as one to watch. Uh, so it's, 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 it's really essential, I think. For you winning an award, do you, does that personally add more pressure on yourself for the, for the next film that you make to follow it up with some kind of recognition again? Uh, failure is a key part of creativity and you've got to take chances and you've got to take risks. Um, otherwise, you'll end up something safe, something that's been told before. Um, so when I get an award like this, I see it as being for the work my team have put in rather than for the work I have done. And I, I, you know, I use it as a way of recognizing what they've done. Uh, on a personal level, there's always stuff I want to do more of. There's always stuff I want to do better. Um, you know, that, that's, that's my kind of attitude in, in, in terms of it. It's a recognition of the work of my team who've acted in service to a story that people have found interesting. And to do that, they've had to hide their contribution as much as possible and, and serve, serve everything that the audience is enjoying. If not a sequel to Jurassic World, what is your dream project to do next? Or would that be the one? You know, I think um, the, the Jurassic World I would have liked to have done would have been the John Sales draft, which was about genetically modified dinosaurs uh, um, as part of a, an anti-drug cartel team going down and, and killing people in South America. I would have done that movie. So maybe now that they've done World, they could, move, they could offer me the John Sales draft, and I'm, I'm all there. But uh, I, I somewhat suspect Universal will be risk-averse, and I suspect the sequel will be about the park getting opened again, except this time it's not on an island, it's in California. You know, which will be, you know, we've seen that in, in Lost World. When will they ever learn? I'll just, say, I just, I'll just say no. I'm not interested. I'm not interested to get the sales draft, you know. So well, we look forward to whichever version you make. Thank you very much. It, it will be the fan version shot on Super 8, uploaded to YouTube, and then it's taken down within 24 hours. That's the version. I look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!